The WUSA 9 Special Assignment Unit is looking into the underworld of gangs tonight, specifically MS-13. Their numbers are increasing in our area, and so is the violence. As Stephanie Ramirez reports, illegal immigration and the legal system play a role in eradicating gangs. But help is also needed in the schools and at home. Police! Stop! Police! We got three juveniles running from the foot. This is a night ops in Herndon, Virginia. This gang's been here so long that everybody knows this is the area. During the day in Manassas, the Iron Gate community. That's another gang that MS-13 crossed out. It's time to disrespect. Police searched all over Prince William County on this day. Why? Lieutenant Jonathan Weeks is one of the guys on the front line of this fight. He says this is where they once found Venus Lorena Irajeta, one of the teens in that high-profile missing persons case from Fairfax County last February. The 17-year-old had been reported missing more than once and ended up being one of 10 people arrested for the MS-13 murder of a 15-year-old Maryland girl. That's when police started to sound the alarm of an MS-13 resurgence in our area. But even we were surprised to hear this. These cats now, they don't, they don't think. The more vicious the crime, the, the crime is, the more uh, they feel good about this, so the more respect in their head that they get. Even myself, I'm, I'm scared of it. This from a man who says he used to call the shots with an MS-13 click in our area. We met the now ex-gang member through police and are hiding his identity for safety reasons. The gang task force tells us he's no angel, but he's been working to get out of MS-13 for the past couple of years. If there's one thing he hopes people hear, it's this. I walk away from it, but if you ask MS-13, I'm not out. You never get out. The only way out is you get killed. Yeah, the rights remain silent. And what they're doing is recruiting. Recruiting the young, the new generation. But they just, they just waiting for a chance to, sh to shine. Not only is recruitment up, but they're doing so at schools and with kids as young as fifth grade, according to the task force. Their younger members are operating on social media and are more tech savvy than ever. They've been getting harder to spot on the streets. But they don't care about colors anymore, but they know that law enforcement are looking into colors. MS is allowed to wear red now. This is what the gang task force is up against as homicides increase. The task force director says they've seen at least 14 gang-related murders in the capital region since January 2016, eight in Northern Virginia alone since last fall. Now this kid don't want to chop your head, they want to chop your beard. MS-13 is actually called La Mara Salvatrucha. It's a transnational Salvadorian gang that started in LA. They've been in the greater DC area since the 90s. Now, there's no one reason for the resurgence, but the task force is taking a hard look at the thousands of kids coming across the U.S.-Mexican border alone. It's a fact that MS-13 sends people across the border hoping they get stopped saying they're minors. The unaccompanied minors who are innocent in all of this are said to be more vulnerable, looking for families looking to belong. Police say they're prime targets for gang recruitment. And yet, in the same breath, they also say MS-13 is not all an immigration issue anymore. Now we're going to second, third generation. They're American-born MS gang members. I think the parents, what they need to see is the way the kids start talking. That's when they know something is not right. I mean, if I can tell you what the gang is, they just stab, shoot, kidnap. You know, one of the things that I hated the most was I saw a few girls getting raped. The ex-MS-13 gang member says the things he's done, things he's ordered people to do, it still haunts him. His tattoos are his constant reminder. I wanted to peel my damn skin off. That's, I regret it. The Northern Virginia Regional Gang Task Force also offers help for parents trying to keep their kids out of gangs in Montgomery County, Maryland. That's another area in our community that is seeing a growing MS-13 issue. Their state's attorney recently created an initiative hoping to offer more programs for kids to say no. We have his sound up on our WUSA 9 app and our website. Right now, we also have a map highlighting the other hotspots for increased gang activity in our area.